Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside Genie, where we will be looking at the race meeting today from the gravel on the poly track today, the 21st of April. Uh, where we have eight race card, and the first race is off at 12.40. Now, the first race um, is a juvenile, maiden juvenile, and as usual, we don't give selections on maiden juveniles or juvenile plates, but let's have a look at the betting for your sake. For the persons who want to see the betting, the betting number nine, Cholina, 11 to 10, Asta Manana, 28 to 10, Call Me, the, call me Green Light, 9 to 2, Rare Vintage, 8 to 1, Noble Trip, 12 to 1, Farsi, 20 to 1, 25 to 1, and better the rest. And let's have a look at number race two, which is a maiden plate of a 1400 meters. The betting as follows Number six, Let's Not Linger, 16 to 10. Diamonds and two thirds, 28 to 10. Indo Marvel, four to one. Highborn, 11 to two. Regis Angel, 16 to one. Owl, late 25 to one. And 28 to one. And better scratch numbers 10 and 40. So let's have a look at, the, at our selections. Here in this race, our outright selection is number six, which is. Um, Let's not linger. Let's not linger has shown uh, a, a nice improvement in his last four races. He then three lengths behind. She's a keeper. And I think she's a keeper has already, already now won three times, including a small future the other day. So running four lengths, uh, three lengths behind. She's a keeper. Certainly not a bad race. And then she's finished second. And uh, I'm thinking today on um, well, second run on the poly, uh, front row of six. Let's not linger, it will be hard to beat in this race. But outside the selections, we're going for number three, which is High Born. Um, Dennis Boss Table, Warren Kennedy on board, drawn three. This horse has not been far behind in his both his races, less than five lengths. And I'm thinking the 1400 meters today can be ideal distance and definitely a horse that can be involved in a finish. My other outsider selections is number nine, which is uh, 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 Regina's Angel. Uh, Muzi Yeni on board. This horse doesn't show a lot of form, but um, did improve the last time uh, Last time on the poly over the 1,200 meters, running on a little bit from behind. But uh, definitely, I think a horse that's in the, on the up and needs to be included in all of your play. And then, um, obviously, we're going to have a look at number seven, Diamond Toads, the second favorite. Uh, it's also been placed lately and has been running um, a, a lot of places. Already has run eight places out of 11 runs. So certainly he's going to be there when the photos are taken. Also, horse that has got a chance in this race and probably the biggest danger to the favorite, number six, let's not linger. So then move on to race number three. Let's have a look at the betting. Race number three, the betting as follows. Number eight, Mystic Ma Master, 12 to 10. Decorated 28 to 10, 4 to 1, Seattle beat. 12 to 1, Cape Furnish, uplifted 14 to 1, 16 to 1, Master of the North, scratch number 9, Kiora. So here my first selection is number 10, decorated um, from the Frank Robinson stable, has got Muzi Yeni on board. And this horse, I've been following it now for a while, and I think today the 2,000 meters might just be the distance this horse has been looking for. And certainly with um, Muzi Yeni on board, this horse will get all the assistance that he can from the saddle. Then my outsider selections is number one, which is Master of the North, as I had the stable change since his last run. And um, yeah, I think um, a horse that will also improve over this distance of 2,000 meters, Master of my fight by Daniel May, certainly nicely bred and can definitely be involved in the finish. And my other outsider selection is number seven, which is um, Cape, Fool, Cape Falwin. Uh, did run a nice, uh, no, no, but well, although six and a half links behind and at the second uh, over the poly in his last run. And um, this is not a strong field, can probably be involved in the, in, in the finish. Yes, number eight, Mystic Master, the favorite. Obviously, the, I think the biggest danger to number 10, decorated. Warren Kennedy on board, always affected. And has run some decent races. 
also going to 2000 now for the uh, first time and definitely bred for this distance. So certainly I think uh, the race might be between numbers eight and number 10. And then I also like a bit of number, um, number four, which is Seattle beat. Mamba in Seattle uh, it also looked like a horse that can be on the improve. So for my pick six lessons, I went for numbers four, eight, and 10 for my pick six. Race five is uh, uh, 69 meters of um, um, Phyllis Amir's handicap 77. Let's have a look at the betting. Yeah, the betting is as follows. Number six, innovative, 22 to 10. Perfect princess, three to one, quick step, lady, 11 to two, 15 to two, five, uh, five fire fairy. Alfonso, baby, 13 to one, go lightly, 13 to one, to the max, 14 to one, 15 to one, and better the rest. So here in this race, my first selection is the number three horse, quick step lady. I also remember came in at this horse last time out. He went to the front and was run out of it late by um, Cupid and another horse. Um, but I think today this horse might be a little bit more fitted and, um, you know, um, and it has been a month since his last race. And certainly I think he would definitely step with the Ryan Munger from draw three. Um, quick step early in her career, she ran up a higher rating of 86 against some useful individuals and Cape Young, secret depths, sing out loud, the loser fortune. So I think surely also uh, that you need to include in all of your play. I think from a free quick step lady is going to run a huge race in this field. Okay, uh, then the outsiders is number seven, Fiery Fairy, who surprised last time, 11 to 1, was there up with the pace and one going away by three lengths, can certainly be involved in the finish again. And then number eight, Alfonso Baby, you'll also see that Alfonso Baby has also run against stronger opposition um, uh, earlier in her career. And I think um, does have like the poly, has had nine runs, one win and five seconds. And of course, in distance three, one, one win. Jacob's getting the one, uh, one and a half off. And I think number eight, Alfonso Baby, can be involved in the finish. The number 10, Perfect Princess, um, has won a maiden in Kenilworth. She's now coming here in, to Gauteng. Uh, first time on the poly. Marcus from draw 10. I think that might be a slight disadvantage, but not that big, but can certainly also be involved in a finish as is the other three-year-old in, in intuitive, Keegan the mile on board for Kevin uh, um, Dean Kahnemeyer. Also run some useful races, four legs behind, just under five legs behind. She's a keeper, which is not a bad effort today going the longer distance. So certainly also uh, uh, to intuit it. So all in all, uh, not a, 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 definitely a race where you're going to have to include a few runners in the big six. Then we have a fully Amir 67 a handicap over 1400 meters. And here the betting is as follows. Number eight, the Charles three to one hard seas, 23 to 10, Muzan four to one, Landry Island eight to one, Star Choice 10 to one, Amber all 14 to one, Royal Kitty 14 to one, 15 Rain by Unicorn, four Kill Donan by 18 to one, Trip to Freedom 20 to one, and Spiffy 35 to one. So here, my first selection is, is an outsider, and that is number four, um, Kildonan Bay. Now, Kildonan Bay, Duck Campbell Stable, um, very shrewd trainer. Now, this horse used to be a 77. He's now a 61. He used to be, he has, he's, uh, he's now today running in a D64. And as you can see, he's been running in 72, 70, 75. And um, last time ran in a 70 bounce, he's a keeper. And I think this strong, this former bound, she's a keeper. Wherever she wins, she's going to, um, you know, uh, for, the formers can stand up. And it says here, pass some. And I'm thinking to go and buy, you know, might be one of those um, Duck Campbell surprises. So definitely not to be left out. This horse hasn't won for 525 days. But as I said, has dropped from a 77 to a 61. Definitely that. I think the lower this horse's rating goes will definitely bring him in contention. As you can see here, finished behind me at the George um, previously. 
and I think number four here, Donan Bay, can definitely spring a surprise here. Then my outsider selections is number two, Amber Hall. Um, yeah, this is an uh, Australian import. Um, I'm not sure about the breeding, but I just got the impression that this horse is better than his form. First time out on the poly, he went quite easily. And then um, ran eight, uh, just on the nine links and just on the seven links behind um, uh, uh, Keep On Dancing. And if I'm not mistaken, Keep On Dancing was placed in a small future over the weekend. But I'm just getting the feeling that Amber Hall can improve here, run Munger on board, drawn two. And then my other outsider selection is number 10, which is Star Choice. Uh, Star Choice ran on behind um, uh, D-Rap last time out. And I think uh, with the 1,400 meters can be a little bit more effective. Um, uh, Carl Stratum on board getting the minus one and a half. And also number uh, eight, uh, Alsmere also need to mention, the horse is running some nice places on, Last time I got run out of it by Ingest after looking like the horse has got the brace in the back. Ingest came with a devastating finish to deny Elsmere a victory. And definitely, I think Elsmere today will be a factor in this race. So let's move on to the next race, race number six. Race number six is also another Phyllis Amir's handicap. Quite a few Phyllis Amir's handicaps today, uh, making it diff more difficult to, uh, for us to select the winner because Phillies is notorious for not sometimes running up to form. Here we have number six, Ice Imperial, three to one, seven to two, here in after, nine to two, Maria Coralina, five to one, Made in France, Sola, six to one, Hot Money, 50 to two, Tango Time, 14 to one, and better the rest. So let's have a look here, race number six, where my first selection is number one, um, year and after. I think this uh, Futuria is definitely better on the poly than on the turf. And I'm looking forward today for her to running a, a huge race after running a third and a second, uh, or two runs back, second behind Foxy Lady, was also running on, got Anton Marcus on board. And I'm looking at number one um, to run a huge race. Outside of selections, number three, Maria Corolina. Maria Corolina um, uh, used to be a 85, now a 69, used to be running in B divisions, now running in a, in, in, in a, C, in a D division. And um, uh, I think uh, definitely uh, this Vigetrix, um, fully by a dynasty man, definitely much better than a form shows. On a day, ran five links behind, anything goes. And I think number three, Maria Coralina, can definitely be a contender in this race, running a nice race behind Beljar last time out. And uh, I think the 1400 meters will suit this horse better than the 1600 or the 1800 meters, not to be left out. In my other outsider selection is number five, Tango Time. Um, that was placed two rounds back behind to the match on the poly. Last time out, faded a little bit behind Foxy Lady. But Marco Roberts' table is getting a winner, so definitely an inclusion in all of your bets. And here we have Six Eyes Imperial, the current bookmaker's favorite. Has run some decent races, but it's not like I'll be rushing to put money, but he's also running down in class here from a C to a D division, and that's always a dangerous uh, uh, situation if a horse runs down in class. Also, a merit rating came down from a 79 to a 70. So certainly that would put Ice Imperial also in contention in this race, not to be left out. Then we move to race number seven, where we have a merit rate of 90 handicap over 1,400 meters. And here's the betting as follows. Number seven, Lions Head, 16 to 10. Look for Hounds, 828 to 10. Via Serrera, 9 to 2. Maitland Magic, 5 to 1. A red shift 50 to 2 far and 22 to 10, 22 to, to, to 1 quarter quarter passy. Guys, I just want to warn you here in this race, you're gonna go for the three year old Cape Town horses. Now, let me tell you, this horse came from Cape Town Lions Head. He ran uh, away when he beat his maiden. And I really thought that this horse is gonna be, you know, trained on and win a few races in Cape Town over the sea, the, the Cape Salmon season. But he failed to, to uh, impress me. And I'm warning you not to go big on this horse today because you might find yourself burning your fingers. And the same goes for looking um, for look for hounds. Everybody went um, on Saturday, went for um, 
what was that horse from Vaughan Marshall was an eight to ten favorite, and he only finished fourth. Even the stable companion beat it. So don't let these uh, bookmakers, um, you know, mislead you and telling you that this was the the, the play for the day. I'm I'm liking the look here of number four Via Salaria. It's coming off a small race, but Via Salaria won four races in a row. Now I can tell you, any horse that can win four races on a row in any centre must have a bit of ability. This horse ran in 104s, 95s. Now you will not find out. Let me just show you. Um, there you have 74s, 85, 84, 78. Ability ratings, 105 beyond Russian rock, but before that, 86, 92. And here you have a horse like Via Salaria, who ran against, um, um, uh, you know, uh, um, solid uh, um, Pinkerton. And you know, Pinkerton, I think, in his own mind, is a very good horse. And I'm thinking Via Salaria today is going to run a good race. Then also a horse that are, you need to include in all of your play and don't leave it out of your pick sixes as number three, Farland. Now, Farland um, has also run against 100s, 87, 83s, but he's a type of horse. This horse is, has had already five wins. Now, I remember a, a few years back when he was still a three-year-old, I, I tipped him one day. Um, he was then at that time a one-time winner, and he won uh, uh, that race as a second race at 16 to 1. I tipped the horse. And this horse is certainly a horse that's got the ability. And as I've said before, if a horse has got the ability, you need to include him. Last time I ran five rings behind Big Star. But this horse is way down in class. Okay, if you can see here, this horse today is running in a C division. Here he's running in A, 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 B, B, B. Last time I ran in a C division, he actually won at 11 to 2. So far land today, I think a huge runner today, not to be left out of all of your play, definitely inclusion in all of your bets. Then also number five, Quattro Passi. Quattro Passi has only run in a poly twice, um, went to the front and got run out of it. But also, again, you'll see here, uh, ran in a 95, okay, although four things behind. But Quattro Passi, I'm going to tell you now, is going to be in the front and he's going to say, come and catch me, guys, if you can. Musi Yeni on board, certainly a very good bo uh, uh, um, uh, booking. Because if you want to go from the start, is there, if there's one jockey you want on your horse, except for Pierre Stradham to ride from the front, that's Muzi Yeni. He surely knows how to ride horses from the front. So for me, a very interesting race is don't let the bookmakers tell you that seven and nine is going to be the play of the day. I'm thinking that they are really beatable. I don't say they cannot win, but I'm telling you now that the horses here at the bottom at 22 to 10, 22 to 1 certainly have a good chance in this race. Then we move to race number eight, which is the last race. The betting as follows. Purple Niankasi, 92. Eye-catching, 5 to 1. Beat it, 13 to 2. Winner to Africa, 13 to 2. Arctic Princess, 8 to 1. Purple Merchant, 12 to 1. Susie Wu, 10 to 1. Wildly and Love to Winner, 12 to 1. Letter and Gold, 12 to 1. And 14 to 1. And better the rest. Now, let's have a look here. Where my first selection is the number nine horse. Now, Letter and Gold. Um, is currently running um, uh, on a minute rate at 75. Um, he won, she, uh, she won three races in a row, a maiden plus 200 races. And as I just said before in the previous race, if a horse does, can do that, he has got ability. Then she ran some uh, a, a second class race, wasn't that good. But last time out, also running in, in the same division behind Beat It and Handy No Finish. But today she's getting the minus four. This jockey the other day um, did had his first one. At, and I tipped the horse, I can't remember the horse that he rode, as my outright selection for that race. And surely, I think once these um, apprentice jockeys has broken the ice and ridden their, their first winner, then the second and third and fourth and so on will come easier. And I like the look of Dritter and Gold, certainly a filly to me that shows that she's got some guts ready to fight. And I think number nine, Dritter and Gold today, is going to run a huge race. In my other outsider selections is number 10, Susie Wu. Last time I've got both, couldn't get through, but still run a nice race, 22.7, 400 to finish, draw 10. That is not a big advantage for me on the poly. Then my other outsider selection is number seven, which is um, eye-catching. 
Um, yeah, his form is a little bit eye-catching, coming from Cape Town Hall, Marshall. And I'm thinking that this horse has run against some decent opposition. Galactic Star, no donkey, was beaten twice by Galactic Star, now getting the minus one and a half certainty to be included in all of your bets. And then let's have a look at number four, winner to Africa, uh, Munger and, and Andre Nell again. I um, don't know if he's partnering up with them, but I think this was window of Africa certainly is uh, uh, definitely in here with a big shout. So that brings us to the end of my preview for the day. I hope I could point you in the right direction for a few winners. And as I always say, break a leg.